and I'm going to do a lovely brown um, bark number one to go on the top. So I've got a piece of fondant, colour it brown, make sure it's nice and thick, and I've got my bark overlay, so I'm going to pop it on the top. And link to that bark overlay is in the bottom comments. And I'm going to just roll over it, like so. Do you have to put any flour on it, or just? Obviously, lots of um, icing sugar to make sure it's not going to stick. Up. Doesn't that look cool? It looks like bark. Okay, then I'm going to stick in my number one. Again, these links to these are cutter. at the bottom. And there's a rough shape of a number one that I'm going to cut out for you there. So then I will get my sharp knife. These are annoying, they're a really lovely shape, but they're not very deep. So you have to sort of just do an imprint and then cut it out by hand. So my sharp knife for doing that. So I've done this, this is just normal fondant. So as you can see as I'm cutting it, it's moving around quite a lot. Normally I would use flour paste for doing the slightly more intricate bits, but my delivery man decided not to deliver it today as he was supposed to, so I'm making do with fondant, which is fine. You just need to leave it a little couple more days, a couple of days to harden up so you can use it so it's not the end of the world. Okay, so you can see me chopping at number one. I'll just round the edges. wooden looking number one. Oh, I'm going to transfer that over there to go nice and dry and then the last thing I will do, and my special, at least I'm just going to stick a cocktail stick in my number one. Yeah. Okay so it's going to stick out the bottom so that when I come to anchor it in the cake, because it's going to stand up on its own, it's just going to behave itself and stick it in. Thank you very much. Please like and subscribe. And links to all of the kit, so the bark print and the numbers are at the bottom.